as of now in this angular application we are navigating by using the router link and this router link is available on the html template but there are some situations where we cannot navigate from the html template and we want this navigation from the component file let's understand this scenario in the book store angular application here i am on this login component and this login component is available inside this auth module so here we have this login component this is the ts file and this is the html file let's see this corresponding view on the browser if i click on this login link then you can see we are getting this view okay in a real situation on this login page we will have two text box one is for the username and second is for the password then there will be a button that will be the login button and on click of that login button if the login is successful then i want to redirect user to some other page for example the book details page or the home page at any other place in this situation i can only navigate from the component file because first i have to check whether the login is successful or not if the login is successful then i can navigate only from the component file let's understand how to handle this situation in this angular application let's create a new button over here as of now let's skip that part where we have to verify whether the login is successful or not now what we will do on click of a particular button we will navigate the user from one single place to some other component so let's say here i'm writing sign up okay this is just the, this is just a very this is just a plain button save the changes and here we have this sign up button now what i want on click of this sign up button i want to navigate the user to the sign up page let's understand how to do this just go to the corresponding component file to create the navigation from this component file i have to use one more class over here and by using the dependency injection i can resolve it over here in the constructor so here i'm writing private a meaningful name let's say it is router and the name of my class the name of the class is router now let's see what we have in this router class here you can see this is a router class and this router class has so many information the location root context row url tree browser url tree and the navigations we have to use some of these properties to handle the navigation and here in the component file at the bottom side let's create one more method and let's give it a proper name so here i'm writing go to sign up the return type is void and here is the simplest method now to navigate we have to use this router and i can write the code this dot router dot navigate and in the navigate we have to provide the url just like we have done in the router link in the same manner we can pass our url over here so here i'm writing auth and then the sign up like this just save the changes and let's call this method from this button click so here i'm writing the click use the method just save the changes go back to the browser and this time we have this button let's click on this one you can see we are navigated to the sign up page here is the updated url and this is the content from the sign up page this was the simplest example now let's understand how can we pass the parameters in the situation so here again i am creating one more button and in this application we have one route that has multiple parameters and it is available in this public module this book details component here we have to provide this book details then the id then this hard code text and then this particular id now let's understand how to pass these multiple parameters from the navigation okay so here i'm writing book details and let's create one more corresponding method over here in this component file simply copy it paste it again this time i'm writing go to book details and let's use this method on the html file okay so here we have to update this url and what is the url for the book details it is written over here first we have to write this public let's remove this entire content from here okay so first it is public then we have this book details copy this one too 
and then after this book details we have a dynamic value and we can pass the dynamic value in a separate item so just put a comma and just define your value let's say it is 100 then put another comma and use the single quote this time we have to use this author okay and then again one more comma and just define your second value let's say the author id is 300 save the changes let's quickly recap what we have done so far in this route we are having some fixed text and some dynamic text this part is fixed this one is also fixed but this part is dynamic this one is fixed and this one is also dynamic if some part of your path is fixed then you can use that in the single quote like this if it is dynamic then you have to pass it like this and again you can also get its value from a property or you can also accept it from this particular method let's save all the changes and let's verify it so this time on this login page you can see we are having two buttons click on this book details and you can see we are navigated to this book details page this is the id and this is the author id here also you can see in this console log we are having this author id and the id we are also displaying the same data on this html and we are having both of them you can also pass this data from a property or you can also get it from the parameters if you want to get it from the property just create them over here and use the property name at this place but if you want to get these values from the parameters then i can write id number and the second parameter is author id and just the type it is also of number type and here let's use the id and here let's use the author id save the changes go to this html file and here this time we have to pass two values so let's say here i'm writing 122 comma 233 save the changes just go back to the browser Let's navigate back to the login page. Here we have this book details button. Click on this one and this time you can see we are having the updated values. We are having this ID and this is the author ID. This is how you can navigate to a simple URL in Angular and this is how you can provide your parameters in that particular URL. There is one more situation also in this concept. Let's assume I want to pass the query string as well. How can I do that? To pass the query string from this navigate, we have to use a comma after your square bracket, use the curly bracket and in the curly bracket you have to provide query params. So here I am writing query params. Then again use the curly bracket and here you can define all your query parameters. So let's say first I am passing name and let's say the name is Nitis. Just save the changes. First let's verify only with one parameter and go back to the login page click on this book details this time you can see we are getting the query string as well in the url now if i want to pass multiple query strings then just put a comma and write your second query it is email and let's say it is sample save the changes go back to the login page click on this book details and this time we are having two query string over here here also you can see we are having on the console both of them are working fine and now you can handle all the situations where you have to navigate from your component file.